<laughs> Instant noodles are consumed over 100 billion times a year. That's nearly 300 million servings every single day. What started in a humble backyard shed has transformed into a global food phenomenon that feeds college students, busy professionals, and families in every corner of the planet. But have you ever wondered exactly how those perfectly formed blocks of instant noodles go from raw ingredients to your kitchen cabinet? The process is more fascinating and shocking than most people realize. It all began in 1958, when a Japanese man named Mamafuku Ando found himself staring at the devastating food shortages plaguing post-war Japan. While government officials pushed for bread consumption, Ando noticed something crucial people were standing in long lines for a bowl of ramen, despite the bread being readily available. The people wanted noodles, not bread. Working alone in a wooden shed behind his home with nothing but basic kitchen tools, Ando spent an entire year experimenting with different techniques to preserve noodles. His neighbors thought he'd lost his mind, and his family worried as their finances dwindled with each failed attempt. Then came the breakthrough that would change food history forever. While watching his wife make tempura one evening, Ando witnessed how quickly the hot oil transformed the food, removing moisture while preserving flavor. This sparked his revolutionary idea, what if noodles could be flash-fried? After countless sleepless nights and failed experiments, he finally created the world's first instant ramen, chicken ramen. The method was ingenious the flash-frying created tiny microscopic holes in the noodles that would allow boiling water to penetrate and rehydrate them in just minutes instead of hours. But what happened next would take his invention from Japanese curiosity to global staple. The journey from raw ingredients to those perfectly shaped noodle blocks starts with something surprisingly specific, a special high-gluten wheat flour that's completely different from what you'd use for bread or pasta. What most consumers don't realize is that this flour undergoes rigorous testing for protein content, with manufacturers rejecting entire shipments if they don't meet exact specifications. But the flour alone isn't what gives instant noodles their unique ability to last months on the shelf while cooking in just minutes. The real secret lies in a carefully guarded blend of additives that manufacturers rarely discuss openly. While the packaging might mention stabilizers or texture enhancers, these compounds are engineered specifically to create the perfect mouthfeel and cooking properties. Perhaps most crucial is Kansui, an alkaline mineral water that gives the noodles their distinctive yellow color and springy texture. What few consumers know is that this alkaline solution actually changes the protein structure of the wheat, creating a firmer noodle that won't turn to mush when cooked. Some companies have even been caught in controversies for using potentially harmful alternatives to cut costs. Once the ingredients are selected, massive industrial mixers combine the flour, water, salt, and additives into a dough that would be unrecognizable to home cooks. Unlike the gentle kneading you might do for homemade pasta, factory machines apply intense pressure up to 500 pounds per square inch creating a dense, compressed dough that resembles a thick rubber mat more than food. The machinery used in this process has evolved dramatically from Ando's original manual methods, with modern factories employing computerized systems that analyze the dough's consistency in real time, adjusting water and pressure levels to maintain perfect consistency even when the flour quality varies. And that's just the beginning of the transformation that turns simple ingredients into those familiar blocks of dried noodles that stock pantries worldwide. After mixing, the dough enters what engineers call the sheeting phase, but don't let the technical name fool you. This is where the real magic begins. The dense dough passes through a series of precisely calibrated rollers that gradually compress and flatten it with astonishing force. What most viewers don't realize is that these rollers are specifically designed to create microscopic directional gluten strands that give instant noodles their distinctive bite and texture. In the most advanced factories, these rollers are crafted from specialized metal alloys and maintained with tolerances measured in microns thinner than a human hair, ensuring perfectly consistent noodles every time. The thickness of these sheets isn't random either it's calculated down to the millimeter based on mathematical formulas that determine the exact cooking time. Thinner noodles might cook faster but risk becoming mushy, while thicker ones take longer but hold up better in soup. What's fascinating is how different markets receive different thickness profiles. Japanese factories typically produce thinner noodles than their Korean counterparts, which prefer a chewier texture that stands up to their spicier broths. Some manufacturers have even faced backlash for adjusting thickness formulas without warning consumers, leading to unexpected changes in cooking time and texture. Once the perfect thickness is achieved, 
the sheets move to cutting stations that transform them into recognizable noodle strands. The cutting blades operate at incredible speeds, slicing through dough at rates up to 6,000 cuts per minute. The width, wave pattern, and even the cross-sectional shape of these cuts vary dramatically based on the noodle style. Square-cut noodles absorb broth differently than round ones, while wavy patterns create pockets that trap flavor. In the most advanced factories, high-speed cameras inspect every inch of cut noodles, instantly detecting and rejecting any imperfections before they move to the most crucial stage of all the transformation that makes these ordinary noodles instant. This next phase is where ordinary noodles become instant through a process that's as fascinating as it is controversial. After cutting, the noodles are immediately steam cooked for precisely one to two minutes, not a second more or less. This partial cooking gelatinizes the starches in the wheat flour, essentially pre-cooking the noodles about 80% of the way. What many consumers don't realize is that without this step, the noodles would never fully rehydrate no matter how long you boiled them at home. The steam chambers operate under extreme pressure reaching temperatures well above normal boiling point, causing rapid starch transformation that conventional cooking simply can't replicate. But the true secret to instant noodles lies in what happens next. The steamed noodles enter massive fryers where they are submerged in oil for just 30 to 45 seconds. This flash frying does something remarkable. It instantly vaporizes all remaining moisture, creating microscopic holes throughout the noodle structure. These tiny voids are what allow boiling water to penetrate and rehydrate the noodles in minutes rather than hours. The industry has faced significant criticism over their choice of oils, with many manufacturers still using palm oil despite environmental concerns about deforestation. Some companies have quietly switched to alternative oils while maintaining the same original recipe claims on their packaging. The entire frying process happens with astonishing speed from raw dough to fried noodle block in under four minutes. What's even more surprising is that some premium brands have moved away from frying altogether, adopting a high-temperature air-drying process instead. This method creates a slightly different texture and dramatically reduces fat content, but requires specialized equipment costing millions. Factory workers have reported that the transition between these two methods isn't always smooth, with some batches failing quality tests when production systems are switched. The noodles exit this stage with their signature curly, folded appearance, but they're still missing the critical component that gives each variety its distinctive flavor. While the noodles are being processed, an entirely separate production line is creating what many consider the true heart of instant ramen, the flavor packets. Despite their small size, these seasoning sachets contain up to 20 different ingredients in precisely calculated ratios. Food scientists spend years developing these flavor profiles, using advanced techniques like gas chromatography to isolate and reproduce the exact compounds that make specific broths taste authentic. What's rarely discussed is how manufacturers reformulate these seasonings multiple times per year, making subtle adjustments based on changing consumer preferences and ingredient availability without ever announcing the changes. At the core of most flavor packets is the controversial ingredient MSG monosodium glutamate, which provides that distinctive umami punch. While scientific consensus indicates MSG is safe for most people, consumer pushback has forced many companies to find alternatives. What they don't advertise is that these no-MSG formulations often contain hydrolyzed proteins or yeast extracts that naturally contain high levels of the same glutamates, essentially achieving the same flavor profile through different ingredients. The spice blending happens in sealed, climate-controlled rooms where humidity and temperature are strictly regulated even minor variations can affect flavor intensity and shelf stability. Once prepared, both noodles and seasoning packets enter the packaging phase a hypnotic ballet of high-speed machinery that wraps, seals, and labels up to 600 packages per minute. The packaging itself is a marvel of engineering, with multiple layers of specialized films that block oxygen, moisture, and light. The air inside each package isn't regular atmosphere, either it's a carefully formulated mixture of nitrogen, and other gases that prevent oxidation and extend shelf life. Some factories have even installed thermal imaging systems that can detect microscopic leaks in sealed packages by identifying temperature differences invisible to the human eye. Before a single package leaves the factory, it undergoes quality control measures that would surprise most consumers. Random samples from each production batch are subjected to what insiders call the kitchen test actual preparation and tasting by trained evaluators who assess everything from cook time to flavor intensity. 
These testers develop such refined palettes that they can detect variations in salt content, as small as 0.1% in ability that's regularly tested against chemical analysis to ensure accuracy. What's less known is that some factories maintain libraries of preserved samples from years past, allowing them to compare today's product against historical standards in case of consumer complaints. Even more revealing is how differently the same brand formulates its products for various global markets. The exact same noodle brand might contain significantly higher salt content when sold in North America compared to Europe, where regulations are stricter. The spice levels vary dramatically to what's marketed as extra spicy in the United States, often contains just half the capsaicin of the identical product sold in Southeast Asia. These regional formulations are closely guarded secrets, with some companies using coded production runs to prevent competitors from easily reverse engineering their regional recipes. Several manufacturers have faced backlash when attempting to standardize global formulations, with consumers quickly noticing the flavor changes. The logistics of distribution are equally impressive. From factory to store shelf, Instant noodles travel through a supply chain optimized down to the minute. Temperature-controlled warehouses store millions of packages, with computerized inventory systems tracking production dates to ensure older stock ships first. The noodles' remarkable stability allows for shipping methods that would destroy most foods they can withstand extreme temperature fluctuations that occur during ocean transport or desert trucking routes. Some brands even produce specialized versions with enhanced packaging for military use or disaster relief, capable of remaining edible for up to seven years. The global instant noodle network has become so sophisticated that during recent supply chain disruptions, it was one of the few food products that remained consistently available on store shelves. So the next time you open that familiar packet, remember you're not just enjoying a quick meal. You're experiencing the culmination of decades of engineering, chemistry, and culinary science that transformed a post-war necessity into a global phenomenon. From specialized wheat flour to precisely formulated flavor packets, every element has been meticulously designed to deliver consistent results in minimal time. The humble instant noodle represents one of humanity's most successful attempts to make food preparation nearly foolproof, accessible across economic divides, and strangely comforting regardless of cultural background. What began in Mamafuku Ando's backyard has evolved into a 45 billion industry, that feeds billions annually a testament to how innovation can transform even the simplest foods. The instant noodle continues to evolve, with manufacturers now exploring plant-based alternatives, reduced sodium formulations, and even biodegradable packaging to address contemporary concerns. Yet despite these changes, the core appeal remains unchanged. Convenience without complete sacrifice of satisfaction, a meal that requires almost no skill yet delivers reliable comfort. As instant noodles continue their global dominance, researchers are now exploring what might be the next frontier space-ready ramen that astronauts can enjoy in zero gravity, complete with specialized broth containment systems and microgravity-optimized noodle textures. Meanwhile, culinary innovators are elevating the humble instant noodle into gourmet territory, whether you're a college student on a budget or a food enthusiast looking for a nostalgic base to build upon, the instant noodle has secured its place not just in pantries, but in cultural consciousness worldwide proving that sometimes the most revolutionary ideas don't need to be complicated to change how the world eats. And if you've ever found yourself at 2 a.m. standing over your kitchen counter, waiting impatiently for those three minutes to pass while the aroma of chicken-flavored MSG floats through your apartment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because just like that packet of emergency ramen hiding in your pantry, I'll always be here when you need me most.